provide a description of the proposed scope of work, including a brief description of any changes to structural elements, egress, fire protection, energy conservation, lighting, or ventilation systems. Include any changes requiring zoning approval as required on page 2 of the permit application. As above, a detailed description shall be included in the building evaluation report. For example, no structural work, egress, door remove, new alarm devices, new lighting, relocation of front door. Provide the estimated cost of proposed work. The cost shall include all associated costs, excepting the cost of the permit itself. Please provide a signed copy of the contract or a signed letter of intent, including the job cost, to confirm the construction so uh, cost. So a contract to is to be attached with the permit application. The current permit fee is $15 per thousand volume of work. A final cost affidavit will be required at the end of all projects. This affidavit is required for final sign off. So to be sign off, we need to do fill out an affidavit at the end of the job given the total amount of work in dollars amount. The zoning information section must be completed for any proposed work that is regulated by the zoning ordinance, any, any city, any city zoning ordinance. Please note that mo almost all work performed on the exterior of a building, including new windows, doors, or skylights, is regulated by zoning. Read the selections carefully and check an applicable box if required. The permit application must include all documents referenced by applicable selection. Note that applications for work which has been approved by the Board of Zoning Appeals must also be included on construction, construction drawings as required below. Any information presented to the Board of Zoning Appeal is separate from the building permit application and cannot be cross-referenced. Be specific when describing the use of the space of building under zoning de definitions. A doctor's office is different from a business office and a bookstore is different from a grocery store. Different uses may have different requirements, including different parking requirements, which can be critical to the project's approval. To determine the zone the building may be in, Reference the zoning map as posted in the uh, city or the area, the loca locality where the building is. Application for work approved by the planning board must include a completed planning board application for building permit. Information available at the Community Development Office. Massachusetts has kept the requirements of construction control section 107.6. This section requires the services of a registered design professional, an architect or engineer. These professional services are required for all projects in building that exceed 35,000 square feet. Please note this is the requirement based on the size of the building, not the size of the project. An affidavit from the RGP as regard to the requirements so this is R A an affidavit from the design registered design professional as regards to the requirements of 106 107.6 is required to be submitted with the permit application as well as the compliance report as outlined in Chapter 17. All construction documents prepared for such control projects are required to bear a stamp and a signature of the registered design professional. Construction documents shall be of sufficient clarity to indicate the location 
nature and extent of the work proposed and show in detail that it will conform to the provisions of the Massachusetts State Building Code. Construction documents shall be dimensioned and drawn upon suitable material. Section 107.2 of the International Building Code talk more about this, about construction document dimension and drawn on suitable material. All applications shall include construction drawings but not to be limited to floor plans, wall type, fire protection drawings, means of egress or exit plan, exterior wall envelope drawings, site plan or more or other. The building inspector may request further drawings and all documents other than are than are listed above in order to determine compliance with the Massachusetts State Building Code. Structures of unusual complexity require structural peer review. So there is such a thing as structural peer review. Any proposed work with which includes work regulated under MSBC Chapter 9 Fire Protection Systems or Chapter 4 or Chapter 34, i.e. BC, if applicable, requires review and approved by the fire department. Such approval shall be gathered by the applic applicant before the application is submitted to the building official. The application shall include the fire protection narrative report as described in Section 902.1. So anything that has to do with a fire protection system need to go through a fire department before submitting and get the uh, a fire protection narrative report from them before attached to the permit application. For example, Cambridge has adopted the stretch energy code, a more restrictive set of requirements in addition to the International Energy Conservation Code. The application, this is for Cambridge, if choosing one of the prescriptive compliance paths for renovation work, a description of the installation products being used shall be included in the application package, part of the stretch code compliance form. IECC 209 Table 40211 Insulation and Fenestration Requirements by Component for Residential Construction. New low rise residential construction, three stories or less, is required to comply with a HERS, Home Energy Rating System Index Rating. The rating report is required to be submitted with the application. A partial list of home energy rating system rating companies is available upon request. This office makes no claims on any of the companies listed. For any change in a lighting array, a lighting allowance calculation shall be included with the application. So there is something that called lighting allowance calculation. All information on the licensed construction supervisor shall be supplied. The license holder must possess either current unrestricted Massachusetts supervisor license or a Cambridge Builder license appropriate to the type of construction. The lighting Oh no, the LCS must sign the application. So Lions Construction Supervisor must sign the application. The HIC registration is required for three or four owner occupied structures. 
but is not sufficient in itself to apply for a permit. So, one and two family, you need a HIC registration to get a permit, but required for three or four family owner occupied structures only. As the city of Cambridge has a has had a contractor license program in effect in previous to any state license programs, Cambridge does require a licensed contractor on all projects. All information on a building owner shall be supplied. The owner of the building, the representatives must sign the application. Massachusetts general law requires proof of workers' compensation insurance. A certificate of insurance shall be supplied. Massachusetts general law requires all construction debris be properly disposed. Requires dumpster permit if a roll-off container is going to use anywhere on site. This permit must be obtained before issuance of a building permit. This is in Cambridge. So Springfield could be different. 